Shalom, my God fearing woman. I greet you all in the name of Jesus, and I believe that you are all doing well by the grace of God. Today, I want to talk about uh, our negative words towards our husband in public. The negative words of a woman towards her husband in public because men are really complaining about this behavior men are badly complaining about this attitude so you know as a woman when she's angry since she can't fight all she will use is negative word bad word so it became more worse when she will use those negative words towards her husband in public because those words she's using in public will negatively impact her husband let us see what is the word the word is the outcome of inner reflection and analysis of a situation a word is the visible confirmation of what is going on in the heart. The Bible says in Luke uh, 6.45b that the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So you see that the word is a visible confirmation of what is going on inside the heart. So, my dear God-fearing woman, the word you speak reflects your character, your attitude, your personality. In short, the word I speak represents me. The word you speak represents you. Amen. So, when you speak with anger, you are giving out yourself because in that time you will lose control. You will lose control on your feelings. You will lose control also in your emotions. You see a woman shouting to her husband in public, calling bad names to her husband in public, and even slap her husband in public. I know that maybe that woman has gone through a lot. Then, Things are already here that she cannot control herself. But let us see the Bible, what it says in James 1 from 20. It says, The man's anger does not bring about the righteousness, life that God desires. The man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. So when we are angry, sorry, it's easy for us to react in a bad way. 
you see my god fearing woman and note that those bad words you use to your husband those negative words you use to your husband will impact him negatively to the point that he will it will kill in him the confidence and the trust he has in you which is very needed in building a good home may god have mercy on us amen if you continue to read here in james 1 21 it says therefore get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you amen so my dear god fearing woman you see that it's very good to be impacted with the word of god we have to allow the word of god to form our character to form our attitude to form our personality so that the word that we will speak will create peace joy good atmosphere good collaboration amen the word we will speak will define god amen as we all know in these european countries a woman is free but this same freedom sometimes may drive us crazy mm -hmm. this freedom may take us away of the plan of god for our life and that is why we have to adopt the language which is different with the worldly woman language amen by adopting the use of the right word represented eh, in the right way the way we speak and in the right moment right place not in public my dear god fearing woman not in public amen so we have to let the word of god feel form us and when we will speak our word will create peace amen if we read in the same gems it says humbly accept the word planted in you my god fearing woman let us humbly accept the word of god that is planted in us let us represent God by using the word of God amen then our home will be a joyful home amen may God bless you so much my God fearing woman